When I think of Tom Horton, um, and I think of some qualities or words or something to describe him, um, I think of just kind, kind and gracious. The kind of a person every coach would like to have on, on the team. I first met uh, Tom Horton September 1972, his freshman year. He came out for cross country, just like his older brother Phil, who I had run with, and uh, his brother Chris, who I had helped coach with Bob Bradley. Uh, Phil was a two-miler, Chris was a miler. I guess it stood to reason Tommy was going to end up as an 880 runner, half-miler. He was tall, um, long stride, long stride, hard to pass. You always like that in an anchor man. And um, he was smart and um, uh, he, had, he had great heart. He was long-legged and tall and thin as a wisp, usually had long hair and was so smooth and really uh, could look effortless. An outstanding runner, a very good runner, a very competitive runner, um, absolutely. Very kind runner. He was the perfect uh, anchor man. As a matter of fact, even though he's, he was our first state champion in any sport, um, I, I always think of him with the, with the baton in his hand. I was lead off man on the relay team. If I didn't run the best leg or the fastest leg or put an all-out effort because either I was fearful or afraid or for whatever reason, Tom would never at the end of the race say anything other than, good job, Tom. Both of us have the name Tom. He would say, good job, Tom, good job, Tom. Um, and never once did he say, why did you put me in that position? <laughs> the state meet where he won the 880 at uh, White Plains and uh, I was at the meet, and uh, his, his race was a testimony to one of Bob Bradley's training ideas uh, that he picked up along the way, pace progressions, where Tom uh, had a goal pace and had trained all season at 28 second per 200 pace. And he comes to the state meet and his splits were 28, 28, 28, 28, 152, and he, he won going away. Ran just a, a perfect race, perfectly paced. Uh, I think he was fifth or sixth coming past the quarter, and uh, he was third or fourth uh, with 200 to go. And um, it, it was it was very clear that he had paced himself nicely. And when he hit the home stretch, the last 100, uh, he, he just turned it loose and he, he ran going away. I think five, six, seven yards, something like that. Just a just a great race, great race.